Welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a simple calculator with switch statement. So we are going to implement a basic calculator using a switch statement to perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We will take the input from the user and accordingly we will implement the logic for development of arithmetic operations. So for all these operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, we will need two inputs from the user. So basically we need two numbers from the user. So here I have a class called mycalci. You can provide any class name and inside that class I have one main method. Now I will create the object of scanner class to take the input from user. So scanner sc is equal to new scanner and here you need to say system.in. Once we created the object of scanner class then you need to provide here a message for user to take the first number. So here we will print enter first number and now we will store this number inside a variable. So let's provide the variable name as num1 sc dot next int. So this will accept the integer data type for num1 variable. Similarly, we need to accept the second number. I will copy this statement paste it here and we will say enter second number and let's provide the variable name as num2 so this two statement will accept our two numbers num1 and num2 after that we need to provide a menu to the user so basically when the user entered first number and second number then we will display a menu which will say which operation you want to perform right so here I will provide one more sysout statement. Sysout. And here we will say enter your choice. Enter your choice. And then we will provide the choice to user. So again say here sysout. And then we will say one for addition. Because we want to perform these four operations, right? 2 for subtraction, 3 for multiplication, four for division. So basically we will display this menu message enter your choice and then you will display all these four options. The so user will provide the input as per the option. Let's say user want to perform subtraction then he will press the input as 2. Then as per the condition you need to implement the logic for subtraction that we can achieve with the help of switch statement. So after accepting the input here you need to accept that particular value inside a variable. So I will say here int choice is equal to sc dot next int. What we have done? We have accepted the value from the user inside a variable called choice. Now let's paste this code whether this particular thing is working or not. So I will just provide your sysout and I will print your choice. Choice is a variable here, right? We have declared. So let's run this code. So our first message is enter first number. So I will provide your 10, enter second number, let's say 10. And then we got this menu enter your choice, then four options, right? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So let's say I provided here 3. So we are getting here 3 because we have just printed the variable choice to test our code. Now what we want to do? We want to make use of switch statement. So I will provide here switch. This is my switch statement. And inside this switch, here you need to pass the condition. So condition is basically a variable that you want to pass. So I will pass here choice. So as per the choice, I will implement the logic for my switch cases. So basically you need to provide different cases here, right? Case, case 1, case 2, case 3 and case 4 because we want to have the logic for all four conditions and there will be a default statement. Let's first write a logic for our 
first condition so let's say user has provided one so in that case what we need to do we need to have the addition so if the input is one or the choice is one year so in that case what we need to do we need to add it because it is for addition so i will declare one more variable here let's say int result and then inside this switch statement i will say result is equal to num1 plus num2 when our choice will be one in that case we need to implement the logic for addition and then we will print here sysout the result is and then we will print here result and then we will break it because once the case is matched we need to come out of the switch statement otherwise what will happen if you don't provide the break it will implement other cases as well so we don't want to implement once our case is matched i will provide here case 2 so what is case 2 if the user provides the value here 2 so in that case we need to implement the logic for subtraction so in that case again i will copy the statement instead of copy we will say reuse of the code and we will say a result is equal to num1 minus num2 then we will print other things will remain same right break will be there if user input is 3 so in that case what we need to do we need to provide multiplication so again result will be num1 into num2 and then we will print the result and then we have a break statement again we need to provide one more case case 4 so in that case we need to implement the logic for division so i will provide here num1 divided by num2 and then we will print the message then we have the break statement and what is the use of this default case so this default case will be implemented when the user provides some another input other than what we have expected so what we are expecting here so user should enter one of the choice right one two three or four but let's say user has entered five so in that case default case will be implemented so here we can have some message so here we will say sysout their invalid choice now let's run this code so first thing our first statement will be printed enter first number so let's provide the first number as 7 then we have the message for enter second number so let's provide the number as 3 then we have this menu enter your choice and then we have four options so let's provide a choice here so if i say 2 so in that case what will happen this choice will have now the value as 2 so it will match with this case right case 2 and inside this case we have the logic for subtraction So I have provided here 2. So see 7 minus 3 is 4, right? So we are getting a subtraction of this number. Result is 4. If I want to implement another operation, so I need to run this code again, right? So enter first number, let's say 5, enter second number 4, and this time I want to perform multiplication. So 5 into 4, it will be 20. So we are getting a 20. If I want to perform another arithmetic operation again, I need to run this code. So if I say 9 and 3, and this time I need to perform division, so I will say a 4. So 9 divided by 3, it will be 3. So what is happening here? Every time I need to perform the arithmetic operator, I need to run this code again. Instead of that, what I want to do, I want to ask the user whether he wants to perform another operation or not. So if he enters yes, then in that case, I will again display the menu. If he enters no, so in that case I will exit from the iteration. So let's implement the logic for that. So what we want to do, we want to do this entire thing, right? From entering the first number, second number, then again choice. This we need to implement as per the user's input now. So all this statement we will put inside the do and we will make use of do while statement. So do will start from here and it will continue till this is our switch then after that we will have your closing of do 
while so here i will have the while statement and here we need to take one more input from the user so once the tests are implemented then we will say here sysout we will print the message here do you want to continue we will say here you can enter y or n so basically this stands for yes and no and then we will accept the value from the user so we are expecting here so user will enter a character whether y or n so we need to have a variable that will accept the character so let's declare a variable here so i will declare here char continue so i will say op continue op is my variable name here and then i need to accept the value in this variable will say here continue op and then sc dot next dot caret zero so this is a way to accept a character here and then we will provide here a condition inside the while if our continue op variable is equal equal to y then in that case we need to continue the operation if it is n then we will exit from the iteration let's run the code so enter first number so let's enter 10 enter second number 2 and then i will perform addition operation so 1 so 10 plus 2 will be 12 and now what is happening we are getting this message do you want to continue right because once our switch statement case is met it will come to this control this will print this message then you need to provide your value so do you want to continue so i want to continue so i will say your y See, again we are getting the message enter first number so i will say your six enter second number five this time i want to perform subtraction so six minus five it will be one again we are getting the message do you want to continue if i say your n we are coming out of the program so we are not getting any message here right so we are able to exit from our program now if i run this code again so i want to show you some another cases here let's say you enter the number as 23 second number as 24 now you are providing a message to user to have a choice and if the user input 6 so there is no option for 6 years basically there is no case for our 6 so in that case the control will come to default in that case the control will come to default and it will print the message invalid choice and again it will say do you want to continue and if i say here why so it will again give us the first number and second number so let's provide here 12 and number as 3 and then we will say here addition so we are getting 15 so do you want to continue so if i say here why so what will happen basically we are expecting here sm smaller case y right lower case y but we are providing here y capital y and here we are checking the condition only for a smaller case y so what will happen in this case the program will come out of the loop so to match the upper case also we can provide here a logical operator or and we will say continue of continue of is equal equal to y in both cases now it will satisfy our condition if you provide a lowercase y also it will continue if you provide a uppercase y it will continue so this is how you can enhance this code but the basic things will remain same you need to have the understanding of switch cases default case how to accept the values from the user all these things you need to do one more thing you can do here you can have the condition for the division let's say if you provide a invalid number 2 if you provide a 0 as number 2 so in this case what will happen let's see that i will run this code again so let's enter first number 4 second number 0 and if i say a division so see we are getting here error it says division by 0 is not allowed right so that also we can handle here so what we can do inside this division we can have a condition we can say here if our num2 is not equal to 0 if num2 is not equal to 0 so in that case we will perform this operation 
and then we will print the result but if num2 is equal to 0 it means else then in that case what we can do we can have a message here see how we can say here division by 0 not possible division by 0 allow let's run this code again enter first number let's say 23 enter second number 0 then we provide a choice as for division now we are not getting any error right we have handled it and it says division by 0 not allowed and again we are getting the message do you want to continue if i say here uppercase y still it is allowing me because we have handled that condition as well inside the while case so i hope you understand how to implement a simple calculator with switch statements this was our code to handle all the conditions for these four arithmetic operations what you can do you can add more operations inside your menu like you can have the logic for implementing the square of a number cube of a number square root of a number that you can do so that's it in this video we will see another questions in next video thank you for watching